Hello there, I'm Sebastian Russell, and with me is my camera woman and co-host, Mia Holtzman. That's Mia. Today we're at Franklin Hall for a very special not-too-late event. I was called in to talk to our executive producer, Andrew Briggs, and uh, I'm optimistic to say the least, because word on the street, I'm getting a promotion. So let's go and check it out. Uh, you don't have to. Andrew. Sebastian! Thanks for coming in. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. Thank yeah. You, thanks for having me. Of uh, course. Sorry, this is a little short. Oh, yeah. Cool. Excited to be here. Great. Uh, um, how's that? Just don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, I brought you in here today because I wanted to talk to you about your show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, I'm unfortunately have to cancel Giving me a promotion. It. What'd you say? What? I, I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. What did you say, though? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Sebastian, but I have to cancel your show. We just don't have enough money in the budget for it anymore. Huh. Okay. No, that's... That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you can, you can stop recording. Um, okay. Well, that's. And to be frank, I thought you were Andrew. I am. Okay. You just don't have much of an audience, and it's not a good business decision to keep the show still going. But we did have Eisenberg on once. That doesn't. That was seasons ago, Sebastian. That whole okay. No, okay, that's fine. Uh, well, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, and so sorry, but no, just the business. Just business. No, it's fine. I understand. Um, yeah. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. I'll just clean myself out. I guess I can do it myself. It's, no, I I can do it myself. Did you get that? I thought you said to stop recording. Always be recording. Always. Welcome back to Not Too Late with Sebastian Russell. And Mia Holtzman. Yep. I'm Sebastian Russell. And I'm Mia Holtzman. Yep. We're coming at you pre-recorded from our living room. Now, this past year, I've been working in a bar because, well, IUSDV and I, we're having differences, creatively, on a spiritual level. During that time, I've been putting together a team. A task force, if you will. Yep. And together, we are creating our own Not Too Late. Not Too Late 2, if you will. Not Too Late to the sequel. Not Too Late, not, again. Not Too Late. Not. Anyway, when I last hosted this show, I did it alone, but now... I'm here! Yep. I was only able to film this in our living room if I let me help me the host. The co-host. No. We hope that you like the direction we're taking the show. You know, please bear with us. We no longer have our limited budget of $25 a semester. But we'll, we'll do what we can. And we'll be right back with the news from Dick. And... Cut. All right, um, I guess that was something. What, what do you guys think about that take? That's good, yeah. yeah I, I felt pretty good about it. What? Yeah, it seemed fine to me. Yeah, you guys liked that? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I thought it was good. You don't want to do it, like, maybe one more time? No, I mean, we, we're going to Fazoli's after this, so, like, we should probably just keep gotta, going. Gotta get... You guys are going to Fazoli's? I didn't yeah. get invited to that. Oh. We're not going to Fazoli's. We're not. That's that's another show. Oh. Um. All right, uh, let's just do the news, I guess. Hello, I'm Dick, your news correspondent at Not Too Late. 
IU students proclaim their frustration about the lack of food in the dining halls, but others say it's better than what they had before, which was the food in the dining halls. Uh, New Zealand is on lockdown after one case of Delta. I know, right, I'd cancel my trip too if I had to fly Delta. <sighs> A man tried to smuggle more than 300 pounds of rolled meat across the border. Uh, after having beef uh, with the customs officers, the chicken went cold turkey and is still on the lamb. Owners of flooded cars due to Hurricane Ida have been told that their insurance does not cover the damages. When asked to comment on this, Geico responded with, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Where do you see the word submarine in there? Good thing I don't have a car. I ride the bus. The IDS reported that the IU bus system has been running consistently late. In response, the bus drivers union has asked to take away their funding. In an unexpected series of events, the media school also jumped in saying, we did that years ago. In response to the issue of a $100 incentive to get the COVID vaccine, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney said, I wish I didn't have to do this. Coincidentally, that's what my girlfriend said when she left me last week. Virginia has just removed a memorial 60-foot tall statue of Robert E. Lee. A mem a mem he died? I don't know who that guy is, but <laughs> that's so sad. Pet abductions is to be made a new criminal offense in England. Well, there goes my plans for the weekend. First Robert E. Lee, now this. Well, that's all the energy I have for this evening. To those of you at home, I'm sorry. Um, cut, I guess. Dick, are you okay? Can I use your shower? I don't live here. All right, um, we're moving on to the interview. Uh, who are our guests again? Uh, it should be the Bug Club of IU, yeah. The Bug Club? Yeah, they like bugs and stuff. Yep. Oh, I do not get paid enough for this. Oh, wait, no, sorry. You don't, you don't get paid at all. Yeah, this is like... Fun. Just college students doing their thing. But, but I'm the director. We're yeah. the talent. Yeah. We're not getting paid. Yeah. So. All right. Um, just bring out the guests. Welcome back. Now we have uh, June Summerton from the Bug Club at IU. So, come on out, June. Hi. Hi. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Hi. Oh, have oh. Well. Ah. Uh, thanks for coming on to the show. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't realize there was a bug club at IU. Um, How did you guys get started? Well, you see, that's the misconception. We're not the bug club. People like to generalize it as the bug club, but it's really the insect club. We like to focus in, but generalize to insects. Seems kind of mean to all of the other... Bugs. Well, it's that's very fun. inclusive in a broader sense. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like the beekeeping club. Have you ever heard of them? Oh, yes, we've heard of them. You see, that's the reason why we're more inclusive. The bees are just the bees. Okay. We're the insects. We're a broader hive, if you will. I don't, I don't get it. Because... It, I, it's fine. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite bug? My favorite bug? You see, everyone in the insect club is... We take on a certain... Um, insect form. As you can see here, I have perfectly crafted a cockroach persona. Four cockroaches are the survivors of the earth. Did you know that cockroaches are 30 to 50 percent more likely to survive a radiation blast than humans? I didn't. I wasn't listening. You guys are furries. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. You see, you see, a furry is, uh, they do, uh, like bug furry. So like burries. No, no, you see, we take on the full persona of an insect. We capsulize what it means to be a bug. And then we put that into our daily lives. So... A bug-sona. A bug-sona, exactly. Like furry's fur-sona. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, like I'm sorry. I'll move on. I'll move on. Um, a lot of people who like bugs or insects uh, have collections. Do you have a, a bug or insect collection? No, I have bug and insect roommates. We don't collect our brethren. We live with them side by side as equals. That, um, that is, that's an interesting take for, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to be really, really honest. Um, I've never liked spiders. They really give me the creepy crawlies. Oh, that's good. 
because we're the insect club. That is the arachnid club. We do not associate with them because they are not insects. I personally loathe spiders. They are not one of us, they are not part of us, but they still get grouped in with us. Interesting. Well, because I was always curious, like, how many spiders do we actually swallow on our sleeve? Because, like, that's kind of gross. True, true. However, that, that statistic is a bit of a myth, granted. However, purely out of spite, I try to get my numbers up to the high 70s of spiders I consume. Okay. I feel like for people who call themselves the Bug Club of IU, like, spiders should be a little... And uh, again, again, we differentiate the arachnid club with the insect club. The arachnid club is where the spiders stay. The insect club are where, as you say, the bugs stay. Two different things. Okay. Two no. different things. I'm sorry. Two different things. Yep, two different things. I'm sorry. I just thought you were the bugs of IU, you know. <sighs> Well, it's like saying the 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 the, the, the beekeeping club. It's part of the insect club of IU. It's, it's, it's not the same thing. Sorry, man. Just... Oh, guys got a lot of bug saunas, but don't even have spiders. I don't know how many times I can re reiterate this for you. There's a difference in legs. Count the legs. Different legs. There's so many different legs. I can't. How many legs I can't do you even have? do this. I, can't. How many legs I don't do even have? want to talk about this anymore. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for having me. I, I just, I, I'm sorry. Wow. I wonder what bugged him so much. <laughs> oh, to be a fly on the wall for that conversation. <laughs> you really just bugged off. You know? I'm not good at this. It's a little oh. hungry. Oh. I can lunch. Take this with me. Goodbye. That was actually... Ours. Ours. Thought. It was. All right. Well, that's, that's all the time we have for you today. We, we hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll leave you with this. Goodbye. <laughs>